My first project idea was for users to use voice commands to control their character within the game. After researching the concept and seeing how much needs to be done for it to be complete, I found out that the time was too short to complete the project. After some advice, I had a different approach on my project but similar idea. Instead of voice commands, I will be using face OSC to utilize my face or any other user's face to control the game. I tweak the parameters into bangs and conditions when, when to hit certain keys in the game. Now that I have functionality of the basic commands of using face OSC, I now took it further by making sure that I can utilize other functions such as jump and duck and A or B. One of the most crucial problems I wanted to take care of was the jump feature. I found it to be too tiresome for myself to keep jumping in game. If I got too tired, what would happen if a disabled player were using these controls? So I recalibrated and changed the control from the top of the head reaching a certain height to opening your mouth to jump. It is a lot less irritable and tiresome to use the control. Now raising your eyebrows will use the A button which used to be opening your mouth. Through much advice and help from fellow peers, I have many ideas to improve on and add on to the game face. Definitely this will be the future of gaming for those who are disabled and unable to play the conventional way. I have received a lot of praise for the function of this project to be aimed towards the disabled. But also a downside is to have more options available for more games and other things. I hope one day kids and adults who are disabled can enjoy games just as those who can't play.